travel with me. Hey fellow humans, Mina here. It's another walk and talk video because I guess this is my thing now. Um, I'll probably do more the usual at home videos, but I really like the walk and talk ones. Even if I'm rambling and I don't have a script, whatever. It's cool, it's fine. Um, quick reminder before I get into today's video that I'm still looking for beta readers for three South short stories. We got the Aftershock story, the in-depth background of Minami from South, and we got When I Found You, a short story on how Nikki met Parker. And then we have Breath of Fresh Air, where Mark and Derek fall in love, and that one's not canon. Again, all of these stories, you don't have to have read South to actually understand them. They're written as standalone, but it will enrich your South reading experience. So uh, go check them out if you want to beta read. They're like 2,000-ish words each. Uh, the more information and the application is in the description down below in the Google Docs. Fill it out and I will send out one, two, or all three stories to you in August. So, yeah. Anyway, social media. The thing you're using this very minute right now. Me too. I mean, technically I'm not. I am walking and filming in Korea at this current moment in time. But when you're watching this, y'all are gonna be on social media. And so will I, because I watch my own videos, because who doesn't? <laughs> um, little waiting for cars to pass and shit. And then, uh, okay. So, yeah, social media. As an author, or a writer, which are like the same thing, <laughs> um, right? Yeah. Um, as someone doing creative things, yeah, that's what I mean. Social media is actually quite important. Now, I mentioned in previous videos that I get anxiety over social media. I mean, I have anxiety in general, so yay. Um, Burger King. <laughs> but um, my social media anxiety is like, oh my God, I like stress someone like, what am I gonna post today? And like, what's my topic and all the, ah, and all this stuff. But I've gotten better and it's not as bad anymore, so that's great. But my point here for today's video is that if you are in the creative business, especially being an author, y'all gotta utilize some social media. Because uh, uh, even if you go the traditional route of publishing, y'all still gotta market your own shit. Um, they're not gonna heavily market you, so uh, you, you, you gotta do it. <laughs> So, I'm going to talk about a few social media platforms that you probably already heard of. Actually, you probably heard of like literally all of them. But how to utilize... We're going to stop in front of this little army thing because the lights. Um, we're going to talk about how to utilize them to your advantage for your author platform. So, obviously, we're going to start off with YouTube because this is the current platform you're on. YouTube is... Oh, the lights have turned so obviously YouTube is great you could do live streams the only reason I never do live streams is because I live in Korea and most of my audience is uh, in North America which is uh, quite a time difference so there's kind of no point like no one's gonna be there all of my views for my video come while I'm sleeping um, but you can do live streams and do fun things with that. You could do announcements. Um, it's, just, it's just a fun video way of doing all the other things that you would normally do on any other social platform. Uh, so just bear in mind that it is a lot of work, thinking of topics, writing scripts, if that's something you do, and then filming and uh, editing and uploading and all that it takes a lot of time and it does get faster the more you do it so that's great but 
it takes time. Uh, you, doesn't, you don't have to be fancy at it. Obviously, the fancier you get, I guess, the more people be like, oh, that's a cool, fun video to watch. So they'll come and flock to you, but um, yeah, so YouTube. Now we have Facebook. Now Facebook is getting kind of old, not gonna lie. And so the people who would generally be on Facebook is an older audience. Cause like I was like the OG target when it came out and people like me were getting older. So, it's, and now it's filled with like grandmas and old aunts and old people and semi old like me. I'm not old, like I'm, I'm 33, but you get the idea. It's not the young target audience, unless you're like writing that's dog shit, let's not step in that. Unless you're like writing um, like super, like a life writing, like memoirs or um, stuff like that or nonfiction. If you're writing a YA, Facebook is generally not where you want to market to. Um, although you can utilize something that no other social media platform is, at least that I'm aware of at the time of you know, filming. Um, groups. You can make a Facebook group. Um, it's actually better than a Facebook page. And I say this as someone who has a Facebook page for the novel and writing in general and does not have a group. But groups are a fun way to get engaged and stuff. Now, oh no, bug junk guy. Hear that loud ass noise? I don't know if you see him over there, but it's a bike guy on a bike and he goes around town spewing what I call bug junk. It's totally bad for the environment and bad to breathe but it's to kill bugs and whatever but it doesn't. It just brings bugs higher up to my apartment. It sucks. Anyway, I hate bug junk guy. I wish there was another job for him. Anyway, moving on. We got sites like Tumblr. I do have a Tumblr. I've had it for years. I don't really use it much to be honest um, but if you want you can use it as a blog and repost other writing tips and stuff uh, that's pretty much essentially what my tumblr is I haven't logged on it in years to be honest but my website's blog is linked to it so whenever hello landfill <laughs> uh, so whenever I post on my blog it automatically gets uploaded to Tumblr, so that's pretty much all you'll see on my Tumblr, except all the pretty pictures and work that I do to make my blog look pretty doesn't transfer over to Tumblr, so it's just a wall of text, so yeah, but mm, I don't think Tumblr is as popular anymore, mostly because they like took away the porn, everyone was like, oh my god, the porn, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that's not what we were, they were going to fix this. Um, so, the next one... Um, is Twitter. I quite like Twitter. I've been getting into Twitter. Um, Twitter is great to just not just post like quick writing updates, but y'all can just post updates in general. It doesn't matter if anyone cares. I mean, it helps. But like, it's nice to post just whatever. Although Twitter, I will have to say, unlike other social medias where it's kind of recommended that you post at least once a day, once a week or whatever, I think Twitter, you can't just post once a day. You gotta post multiple times a day, or else you're gonna lose followers. I don't know, that's just the way it is with Twitter, sorry. Uh, but I've been having fun with it, and there's a great writing community on there. Although I feel like there's an older crowd of on there. Like, uh, I don't feel like I see young people on Twitter anymore. I don't know, that's maybe where my Twitter sphere is the algorithm is at but yeah so after twitter we got my favorite social media platform instagram i love instagram um you can utilize stories i like posting quotes out of context and spoiler free quotes from my novel uh but these uh i haven't been doing that for since pride month actually because I feel 
I've been doing that since I started to promote pre-sale to my book, but now that the book's been out for like three months, I think it's like I don't have to do that. I will be doing that again though for book two, because it actually did seem to help generate revenue. Uh, plus, short, quick videos, it's great. I'm, and this, and but you do, I do recommend at least post minimum once a week and always have something in your story going as something similar to TikTok, actually different but very similar because TikTok kind of has this thing that's essentially the same, which is reels, but we're getting into TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. Well, I do have a TikTok. I don't use it. I just literally have an account and I follow my friends, but I can't be bothered to make a TikTok. That looks like too much work. I already have enough time keeping up with the socials that I do got. But uh, TikTok is also something that if you want to stay relevant, you have to post daily. But I hear book talk is quite popular and has even brought super popular, well, super unpopular <laughs> books into the mainstream. I can't give any examples because I don't really know any, but I just know that is the story. <laughs> so yeah. And then we got the last social media that you might not think of as a social media but it kind of is and uh, there is another version of it that I hear some people say is better but uh, I'm not on it not yet anyway I should probably get on that but that is Goodreads Goodreads if you don't know um, you can add a bunch of stuff to your shelves all the books you're reading you can just you just mark like I'm on page 66 out of 100 or whatever and it'll be like you're 50% down I'm pretty sure that's not the math <laughs> but um it's fun and you leave a review and it really helps an author out and it's free so by the way South Goodreads is linked in the bio well my personal Goodread author page and in, in it you can find South so it really helps an author out when you add it to your want to read pile and then a review or a star rating means the world. So yeah, those are essentially all the main social medias that I can think of at this moment in time. Utilize, you gotta, whatever social media that you choose, you gotta be active. You can't just post like one today uh, and then not a month later. You have to be consistent. Uh, some more than others like Twitter you have to post multiple times a day Instagram uh, I recommend at least once a week and always have something in your story but obviously if you can post more than once a week that's even better um, TikTok daily for to be relevant Tumblr I honestly don't know but probably often I guess <laughs> I was never popular on there when I actually did log on YouTube once a week is I think it's fine um, it's hard enough for me to do once a week so I think anything more would be detrimental to my health but definitely if you can do more then great but once a week seems to be the norm um, and good breeze well that doesn't have to be like daily that's just when you read a book <laughs> so yeah be active on your socials and if I missed a social comment down below what kind of socials do you guys use in your promoting of things and let me know also don't forget to be very interactive with people on all these socials if someone makes a comment on YouTube please respond <laughs> um, I respond to every comment I do take a hot minute sometimes to get to them because sometimes I get like so many emails and stuff that it gets lost and but I always respond eh, depending on the social media it might be even faster although if it's a bot like on Twitter I get a lot of bots <laughs> then just don't respond to those because they ain't people <laughs> Ooh, it helps. but yeah uh, be interactive with your community because like if you're not taking the time to engage with your fans, why should they take the time to interact with you kind of thing, you know? And, uh, yeah. So, uh, what's your favorite social? Let me know down below. Mine is Instagram tied with, well, almost tied, but Twitter's a close second now that I've been getting into it. 
and yeah don't forget those shelf shop <laughs> didn't begin south short stories are linked down below if you want a beta read i'll be sending them out in august and uh, speaking of south my debut lgbt plus novel south is now available for you to buy review talk about spread to the world on any platform that you wish it's on goodreads so uh if you got it add it to your read list give me the star rating or i've seen the shop before love you leave a review it helps an author route i would love it be honest and uh yeah so that's all I gotta say for now. If you want to keep hearing more about self, be sure to follow me on all your favorite socials. Links below. Stay safe, take care, stay hydrated, and bye!